Hey everybody, I'm Rick Beato and today's Everything Music. It's What Makes This Song Great, episode 85. Can you believe I've done 85 of these? Yeah, I can actually believe it. The band is Third Eye Blind and the song is Semi-Charmed Life, coming up next. Semi-Charmed Life was the first single off Third Eye Blind's self-titled release, which came out on March 25th, 1997. When it first hit the radio, I thought, wow, this is a really catchy pop song. And then when I listened to the lyrics, I realized that they're pretty dark lyrics about drug addiction. The song was written by the singer Stephen Jenkins, and it was produced by Stephen Jenkins and Eric Valentine. Eric is a fantastic producer and engineer, and the song sounds killer. The song has hooks all over the place not just the vocal parts but in the guitar parts in the drums and the bass we're going to get into all of that let's check out the intro okay so before the vocals even enter we have a hook the first hook is right at the beginning of the song, the, the initial drum fill, this. As soon as you hear that on the radio at the time, it was like, whoa, I know this song. And that very simple guitar hook there. It's just G, D to D sus four to C add nine. Listen to the guitars by themselves. And there's always these little hooks like that, things with uh, with effects like that, you know, with a, with a delay also. But listen again. So that actually goes with this. Listen. The bass also has its own hook. Let's check it out. That upbeat accent there in the bass goes right with the drums. Actually, it goes right in between a kick and a snare. There's a snare that follows it. I'm gonna solo the bass and drums here. There's a snare that follows it that propels the groove incredibly well. Listen. Da, da, uh, oh, right with a snare right after da, uh, the bass is by itself in a space but then that snare hits right behind it and moves the groove along the snare. next the vocals enter with their own hook the do 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 part check it out One other thing that happens in the intro is that there's a drum loop, a program loop that comes in with the drums. Check it out. What's cool about that program part is that there's an upbeat accent snare that propels a groove also. Listen. In context, Listen, listen. It's hard to hear when the whole mix is together, but those things are in there, hidden in the background, and just makes you bob your head. All those together makes for an incredibly hooky intro, and we're not even to the verse yet. Here's the beginning of the verse. So we've broken down, before we even talk about the vocals, it breaks, it breaks down to this one guitar part here. It's cool, it's got this phaser sound on it, right? Oh. Uh. While that guitar part's going on, the drums and bass also simplify, and the loop does. Here they are together. Okay, so the drums have gone to the hi-hat there, so that brings it down a little bit dynamically. 
and the bass is playing a slightly simpler part. Let's check out the vocals in the verse. Here we go, listen. Okay, one thing to notice is that the vocals actually lead into the verse. There's a pickup line that leads, leads in rhythmically. Listen. Okay, and that C at nine, the vocals are going da, da, da. They start on the major seventh of that. Da. That note is a dissonance uh, against this chord, that major seventh, and it really uh, creates tension and then it goes back and forth where it resolves. You know, da, 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 da. It's really beautiful. There's also a high octave part that comes in on that line. So this next half of the verse, it actually becomes more like a rap, where it's not really a pitched melody. Listen. Then the guitars kick in there in the middle of the verse. The lead and fill to the chorus is really cool. Let me solo it. And then we're back to the ride cymbal. And here's the drums and bass leading. And listen. And the bass goes back to the intro bass part, which is really the chorus. The intro is the chorus. Let's check out the chorus melody. All right, there's so many little hooks in here. So one of the things that grabs your ear that makes the song great is where the melody goes. So on G, the G chord. On the C chord, he goes back to that major seventh note, which gives it a, um, I call it a haunting tone or a color tone there. It's because it's it's a, a, an extended tone beyond that. Da, it's a note that's not in the guitar chord. It's not anywhere else. It's only in the vocal and it's a dissonance. Da, so it creates this kind of chord, a major nine chord, when you hear it sung against the guitar. And then, that's also a hook. To get me through this. To get me through this. Also, the, the da 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 is a very hooky rhythm to sing on the semi charm. And then, and then, baby, baby. Downbeat again with the second half of the of the chorus melody. Listen. And then something else when he goes. That's a Stephen Jenkins thing he does in a lot of their songs. Da da da. That that going back and forth on a half step like that. Right here. Okay, goodbye. So we got that high note B, so it once again creates that, it's a major seventh again, but it's up in the falsetto register and creates that chord on the C at nine. So that there's a ninth in the guitar chord and the vocal is singing that high B and that just makes it so hip. Let's hear the vocal on its own on that falsetto note. You notice there's a distortion in it because you can hear it in the delay, but there's definitely a distortion in his voice. Goodbye. Makes it really thick sounding and have power, even though it's just a falsetto note, right? And then. Goodbye. Back to the back to the intro hook again. It's just hook after hook. Second verse. Guitar. 
Great guitar part in the verse. To the rhythm that you up until you break it won't stop. I won't come down and keep stop with the tick tock and with the a bar for the jumping. One. Da, 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 that dissonance again in the guitar part. All those little half step dissonances really make it great. Okay. Okay, another thing that happens here is that this is. A really like a pre-chorus here, or a sl kind of a bridge that happens. It doesn't happen the first time. Between D, C, and nine, and then da 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 da, and then into the chorus. Here's the drums right there. Listen, 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 listen to drums and bass. Listen with everybody playing. Chorus! And then... There it is. Also, like, when you say is also a hooky part in the chorus. All those little figures make you want to hear the song over and over. Here's the guitar and drums together. It's like a halftime feel. Again, the na, that little half step, Stephen Jenkins lyric. I believe in the faith that goes, and the fall I don't make me cry. When I would do I feel like I'm gonna die. Oh, 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 I'm gonna die.
little picking part that happens there. This is actually really cool because this is a new... Right, so it's... So it's going C, G over B to A minor, right? Beautiful. Check it out. Back to the hook. Awesome. And then again. Then you have the fast talking against the do 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 part. And just a killer drum, uh, triple drum fill here. Listen. Check out this whole layered vocal part. Sky was gold. It was rolled. I would take a tip, sat up to my nose. I wish I could get back there, someplace back there, in the place we used to stay. It's really killer. Here we go in context. You're the bass. Bon, dun, dun, dun. Listen to the bass right there. That's all for now. Please subscribe here to my Everything Music YouTube channel. If you're a first time viewer, don't forget to ring the bell. Very important. If you're interested in the Beato book, go to my website at www.rickbeato.com. That's how I support my channel. You can buy mugs there, t-shirts, anything to support the channel. Follow me on Instagram at rickbeato1. Check out my new Beato ear training course. If you go to beatoeartraining.com, watch the introduction video. And if you want to support the channel even more, think about becoming a member of the Beato Club. Thanks so much for watching.